Would you ride nuts to butts with Hawkeye? <laughs> <laughs> I would on a sky cycle, sure. Um. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. Jordan and I have been jibber jabbering now for a while. I'm going to have to do a lot mm-hmm. of editing on the front end. I don't even know if Jordan remembers what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, no, I, I remember. All right. You're just so, having a little comic talk, which maybe they'll have a comic talk forthcoming. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? I don't know. Like, you know, just more comic talk oh, things. More comics? Yeah. Let us know if you yeah, liked that episode. You know, I just think that was fun. But yes, the McFarlane yeah. reveals. So we had quite a few from the uh, Winter Showcase. And I don't know mm-hmm. about you, Jordan, but I think this like week of reveals for Mm -hmm. Marvel and McFarlane were the best we've had in quite a long time. Cause McFarlane really hasn't. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to say, I I do think for me and I think for a lot of other people, it kind of re sparked the uh, kind of excitement around Mm -hmm. McFarlane. Yeah. Because you and I were talking not long ago. It's like, man, I'd like to get McFarlane stuff, but I just, I, you know, because there was a while where I was getting the Batman figures and then the Asbat came out and there were a couple like that, but I haven't really even bought them for a while and people mm-hmm. seem to definitely be like, because I, I was like <laughs> not really even going to pay attention to the Winter Showcase and then as it went on, I was more intrigued and actually tempted to get some. Yeah, so, exactly. So I mean, breaks, I think that's... <laughs> breaks one of your... Uh, rules yeah we should never buy mcfarland's or marvel legends that are wide released at full price which i think mm, i think i'm gonna probably i think i'm gonna try to stick to it although i've (laughs) never mind i'm probably not going to um we'll get into some of those we'll get into we'll get into which ones um so we'll start out we had spawn releases and mm-hmm. these aren't necessarily like brand new reveals we've seen um that these were going to be coming from uh, new york comic-con um but now these we get to new actually see well these weren't at new york comic-con but it was announced at new york comic-con mm. like these okay. and then the page punchers that also recently came out oh yeah that's right um but we didn't see like they were more like digital renders i think at comic-con mm-hmm. um but yeah, now we I get the actual figures now. he had them in box and everything so um, we'll start out with the mega figure, which is Monolith. Um, I think he came in around Spawn 300, or at least he was a bigger deal around yeah. then. Um, he just recently like barely popped into one of the Spawn comics. I'm a little bit behind on them, but not much, and I haven't read anything with him in it yet, so I don't have a huge attachment to him. Yeah. Um, and I don't know his backstory very much, so if you do, let us know down in the comments. Um, but he's supposed to be a mega figure, so kind of the same size as like Cygor and um, mm-hmm. Overt Kill. He looks okay. I mean, he looks like he looks in the comics, but mm-hmm. again, I don't have enough attachment to him to get him. Then we'll get into yeah. Sin, which in his reveal, he was saying that this is like a new look for Sin, but I'm pretty sure this is how Sin has looked since he's been in the books. So that's what that was making me think that mm. that video that he recorded that for older. the Winter Showcase was older, because he showed like yeah. an early scorched, like that was like a homage to the X Men cover where Sin is like doing the like Magneto force field thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's been around for a little bit. Um, I don't remember if I told you who. Quick spoiler alert: if you don't want to know who Sin is, skip ahead thirty seconds. But um, this is Cogliostro which I'm pretty sure you've read in the early mm-hmm. Spawn comics, Jordan. But Cogliostro is the, like, yeah. I thought like he was the, a good guy. Oh, no, you thought. Um, but he is... Which one I is mean, it? I guess I'm assuming He's, Monolith is evil. He looks evil to me. He, he looks pretty mean. Um, but Sin is actually Cogliostro, who is actually Cain. Like Cain and Abel Cain. He's the one that killed Wait, Abel, right? Wait, Sin is cogliostro right and cogliostro is stro is cain from the bible yes 
like the original murderer. Cain and Abel. <laughs> yes. Um, so right. then you're saying Dakota. Well, then who is Abel? <laughs> what? Abel is Dark Redeemer, the original Redeemer. So they have a big battle um, in the books. So mm. now you get Sin to fight his brother again. Um, but yeah, he's like absorbing a bunch of Spawn's powers, and that's he comes with some power effects um, in the box with him. Mm. But then we get into one of the figures that you actually have on pre-order now, Jordan, and that is Medieval Spawn. Indeed. Yes, I do have Medieval Spawn from Target, which is nice. I do have the... Dakota got me to join the Red Card Club, so I do have that going with the free shipping and the discount. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've wanted a Medieval Spawn, and you know I've used that Mortal Kombat one kind of as my closest thing to a Medieval Spawn. This one obviously has more of that deliberate armored style. Mm-hmm. But I kind of love this medieval spawn. Like the first the OG one? OG McFarlane. Yeah, well, like, that's yeah. how he looked when he first appeared. Yeah. And I want that, but maybe I will should wait for that. Because I don't know if I really like the medieval spawn. He, he just looks so chunky that you won't really be able to do much with him, I'm afraid. Yeah. But maybe... But I mean... For twenty five bucks, he looks that's true. Substan- he, like he takes up a good portion of that box, and that's he comes true. with a giant sword and a giant hammer. Mm-hmm. I I don't think that you're gonna be really wasting your money at twenty five bucks. That's true. I think I still that's might true. try to hold out. I have it favorited, so if it ever goes on sale, it'll let me know. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, this I don't know. I I just I I don't get real into the spawn like million mm-hmm. versions because. And I'm glad I don't because it kind of feels a little gimmicky sometimes. Like Mortal Kombat, Yellow Spawn. Mortal right. Kombat, Yellow Spawn, Spawn with Blood. Oh, but he comes with an axe. And it's like, do I really yeah. have to get him just if I want the... But I don't know. I think um, I think the ones that I have, which are the Mortal Kombat one, that's kind of the more modern, gritty. Mm-hmm. And then the older one, like the more classic Spawn. And then just the medieval Mortal Kombat variant. So I guess I'll have four spawns. So maybe I am falling for the gimmick. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I but, really like this one way more than that Mc, for, the Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like that. Because that doesn't even look like medieval spawn to me, really. Yeah. This this does look maybe more like just, the maybe modern. Maybe I just, yeah. And, and that was your first spawn figure. So I understand like an attachment there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely more of the like modern, like what's in the comics now that like beefed yeah. up kind of, I don't know, just jacked night. I think the original one yeah. was a little bit more like classic spawn looking kind of yes. not quite that's, as jacked. That's the one I'm talking about. Maybe we can throw up a yeah. comic image from his first appearance, but mm-hmm. that's and I think what I would love to see. The thing I wonder about this though is it's probably been over a year ago now that it McFarlane had put out a video kind of talking about doing a medieval spawn as a Kickstarter. And even mm-hmm. like less than a year ago, he had like, I don't know if it was the last winter showcase or what it was, but he kind of had this like shield that looked like it mm-hmm. should be for a medieval spawn is kind of like a teaser, which isn't in this. So maybe he's still working on a Kickstarter medieval spawn. But then, I mean, if at that point it's like this spawn is... 25 bucks the kickstarter is probably going to be more than 25 bucks oh but it's also going to come theory though oh okay let's hear it jordan what if next kickstarter is a board game but that doesn't go along with any of the teasers he's put out like i understand where you're coming from because of our episode with him which you can go back and check out if uh, you have it because we do have an interview with todd mcfarlane which i'm sure he at some point is going to do a spawn board game board game yeah but it just doesn't like he's shown maybe like, he was doing medieval spawn and then he talked to us and then he just totally pivoted and it's like board games the way to yeah do. i mean i could i could see him abandoning the project it's just that it was so recent that it seems like too soon of an abandonment but i don't know um he's because he he's like, busy trying to get that spawn movie going too man yeah that's true because he, he was like <laughs> yeah, fully talk, he's like break. I want metal weapons. I want him to have like swords and axes made out of metal. Yeah. 
he had the giant shield. He's like, I want a soft goods cape. It's like, where's that medieval maybe, spawn? Maybe it would make his, his price jump too much and it would hurt his brand, you know? Like, yeah. I don't want to be the high dollar. Well, I think that's why it would be a Kickstarter. Because he did the regular yeah. Kickstarter spawn. <laughs> yeah. I guess and, I don't remember or wasn't around for well, that. Yeah, and even that one doesn't look as well articulate. Like, it's probably going to be a... yeah more like highly detailed type well, that's of thing. what i'm saying is if it's all that with all the metal weapons and cape and like i don't know how much and maybe for that, that one he's going be. more of the classic look and not the modern look so uh, who knows time will tell who knows? um but that's he'll, maybe he'll tell us in our next interview with him yeah i was thinking we should try to reach out to him again sometime soon um yeah Let's do it. But then you had mentioned board games. We can quick mm-hmm. mention the Riddler puzzle box yeah. that he's putting out, which looks kind of interesting. Not interesting like I want to get it, but just interesting that he would do it. Um, I don't know. You like the Riddler a lot. You love that movie. <laughs> you tempted by that puzzle I, I box at all? Uh, no. No. That okay. seems like one of those like mail away to catch a killer board games you get. And like, mm. I guess my mindset is you can probably only do that once. And then right. I guess you just have a puzzle box then. Yeah. Comes with a I don't know. Batarang that's in three parts. I don't know. I thought that was it was kind of a weird uh like sizzle reel prize? for it where it was like <laughs> and collect the yeah. ultimate collect prize. The ultimate prize. <laughs> it's like, a it's like yeah, a little broken apart batarang. I was like, eh. I don't know if that's the ultimate, ultimate prize. Ultimate prize, the thing that Batman has three million of. <laughs> So anyway, there's Didn't a puzzle Batman box. Goes around collecting his batarangs. Probably not. I wonder what the market threw? is on Gotham. I'm sure there's. That's got to be like a collector <laughs> item in Gotham. That'd be a cool idea for a story. There's like a black market arms dealer, and he's just selling Batman's tech that he accidentally leaves or mm. something. I was thinking like nerds like us that are just like going on eBay buying a oh. batarang. I was going to oh. say, like, that the Batarangs are made of a specific metal, and, like, the guys reverse engineer it, and they make, mm. like, a suit of armor out of it. And that would be interesting. Fight Batman. DC Comics, if you're listening, sign Jordan up. Don't just steal his idea. He'll yes. write the book for you. That's right. I'll write it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so there are a lot of people commenting that I thought were saying, like, yeah, I'm tempted by this, or I might need to get this. So cool. if that that's more your thing, you know, go yeah. for it. It's interesting. Um, I'm glad it's not like you have to buy this box and the prize it comes with is an exclusive awesome figure. Like that would have been kind of a gimmick, I think, if he'd done that. Just imagine a bunch of people that like just want the exclusive figure just smash in the box. That's what I'm saying. Mm, Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Bust it open. Like, you know, if they did make it like this awesome Batman something and you're like, dude, I really, we've been waiting for that figure, but. I don't, I don't know. And do all be. these puzzles to get it. <laughs> yeah. You got to pay for the box. But that'd all right, be kind of a funny troll. Let's get into some Sorry. figures. Um, all right. So the first, I guess I don't remember what order these all came out in. I think this was the first, but this is um, a Tim Drake in kind of his classic mm-hmm. look. Um, I guess it's from Robin Reborn is the storyline so i guess yeah. maybe that technically isn't the mm-hmm. classic look but it looks like how i would imagine him from like yeah he was in nightfall and stuff right yes yeah, yeah. he was the robin at that time that would have been with um gene paul valley yeah. as batman so the they just had one of these out previously right but wasn't it like he had like the long green sleeves or something it was yeah. like something wasn't quite right about it where it was like people were like yeah this isn't the classic version (laughs) um well tim drake i think did start with the like red and green color scheme and it kind of shifted to more of a red and black mm. look so he even had some variations in his costume so i don't know it can be hard to say yeah i'm interested to see what this cape is about because the picture that they have has the cape like flying off to the side is it sculpted that way Mm -hmm. it makes it look like it's a softer cape but i know it's not is it just like Mm -hmm. they have it propped up there and they just photoshopped the prop thing out i'll be interested to see because i hope it's not just like stuck like that because that would suck um but he comes with the same staff see that picture because i do remember that looking weird yeah Um, i couldn't really tell 
he comes with the same staff that the red robin came with which i think is kind of mm-hmm. too large of a staff like it's super thick um but it, it works fine it's not terrible um this one i'm tempted by not one that i'm going to pre-order but probably one that i'll be looking for because this is my favorite robin um and it's my favorite look for yeah. this robin so this one is probably going to end up in my collection one that I don't know, another one that I'm tempted by, but I think that's going to end up in your collection is mm-hmm. the Nightfall Batman. Yes, so this is, I really like that suit. It's like a gray and blue Batman suit with the mm-hmm. yellow around the bat logo. Mm-hmm. I agree. This is a good looking one. I don't know. I. I mean, again, I don't like to fall for the buying a whole bunch of the same character thing. Mm-hmm which I guess I've kind of fallen for, so I have several versions of Batman. But I feel like Batman's one of those characters that has had so many, like, iconic looks. Mm-hmm. Right. That, like, really, if you ask almost anyone what does Batman look like, they probably have different descriptions, which True. is kind of interesting. Because, like, Spider-Man, it's like he wears different suits, but his main look is Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I think this one looks good. I really liked the Nightfall story. Mm-hmm. Makes me hope he'll make a more classic looking Bane that's maybe not as big as the Mega Figure. I don't know. Probably I not. wouldn't hold my breath on that one. I think the Mega Figure <laughs> is going to be the Bane. Um, I which I was tempted to get rid of my Bane, but now that there's maybe going to be a Nightfall Batman and then I've got the Azrael, I've got going to be getting this Tim Drake. Maybe I'll just have to keep my Bane. Um, yeah. But then we'll get into a figure that my Bane. I probably am going to be pre ordering is Steel. So this is one yes. that I've been on the fence about thinking about getting from Mafex. Mm-hmm. But now that McFarlane's got one, I mean, I'll, I'll wait to see For like an in-hand review. Yeah, this one's 25 uh, Mafex is going to cost me, I think, 109 So I'll wait to Ooh. see an in-hand review, but I think this one is going to be my steal. Because even though like, I'm sure he's got like a diaper, um, but it looks <laughs> like he's got a belt, so it kind of blends well. Well... Steel can look kind of diapery too. I think I think he can get away with that, but not yeah. look ridiculous. Yeah. So this one it's is the one the design I'm most excited about out of this wave. Mm-hmm. Are you planning on a steel? Do you need a steel? I don't know if I. I don't necessarily need one, but I always thought that he was cool from that story. So mm-hmm. I always liked that. I, I kind of like the look of all four of the the reign of the Superman. Yeah. Which is why I'm kind of waiting slash hoping he does a more classic Eradicator. I bet I thought will. it was odd to do that eradicator and it's like oh it's the modern and it's like mm-hmm. dude that's not the one we want we want the, <laughs> the classic one from right. the 90s so I want to get that and even the Superboy though doesn't look quite right to me it looks more modern yeah. than like from the classic one mm-hmm. I would love if he did a cyborg Superman oh I'm sure it's coming there's no way so, he's not going to do a cyborg Superman yeah so I would like to have all those but I don't know if I want just, but maybe I should get steel in in anticipation of that. Then. Yeah, I mean that's. I think. I mean, even what so I will want them if I have the other ones for sure. Right, because I agree that Superboy doesn't look quite right, but I think that one you could probably get away with doing a DCUC Superboy, because he'll mm-hmm. probably be just slightly smaller, which yeah, is supposed true. to be a kid, so it, it would probably scale. Shield. It'll probably get cheaper too with the newer one. I yeah, imagine. I would hope. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really checked on the. Um, I remember how... he was worth like fifty, but I don't know if that's yeah. gone down. Right, I was thinking I need to check on that too. Speaking of Superman, we've mm-hmm. got the Hush Superman, which it's kind of not as often as we see Batman, but there's always a ton mm-hmm. of Superman. I think this is a pretty good Superman if you don't have one. I mean, he's. Yeah, looks like the classic Superman. I don't know what more you'd really need out of Superman, red and blue, well, and it's it's is it kind of like a variation of the other Hush one that was like poison ivy controlled? Probably the same, Isn't just it different much paint. that? Because I think the other one had right. like I think I think some people I don't know, like why would you put out that one and then put out like the actual right Hush one? Like it would have made more sense to have the like mind-controlled poison ivy superman as like a gold label right 
which maybe it was i don't actually remember yeah but, i don't I remember either i just was like eh, pass yeah <laughs> and exactly. then i kind of forgot about it i, I think people but, were pretty excited about that superman they were like oh this is yeah. great like just needs like a head swap or something but like here's your superman that's not mind controlled so kind of cool yeah i don't mm-hmm. i don't know i don't love superman but i feel like i should it's have a too- superman <laughs> i have my dcuc superman because i've had it since i was a kid mm-hmm. but it, i don't know we'll see if it if it goes on sale there's so many supermans i could find one on sale i'm sure i'm sure um and that was it for the figures but then there was some statues we got two figure or two statues from the flash movie that's upcoming Mm -hmm. we got the flash and an 89 batman i think both of these look pretty Mm -hmm. good you're not a huge (laughs) fan of the new suit for 89 batman right i'm not i bet he's gonna be making a figure of 89 batman which probably is gonna look like this which isn't what you want right but are you gonna get a figure of it if it's a seven inch articulated figure i think about that i definitely don't want statue but i'd probably get the the seven inch one but i i wish he would do just a straight up like from the 1989 Mm -hmm. movie i think people would go nuts for that yeah that's true because yeah i mean people are going crazy for the uh mezco one which has taken a million years to finally be put out and maybe that's what todd's planning because he could just scoop up all the people who passed on the mezco because it's mezco you know yeah very true that'd be smart i do i like the way the cape is kind of like you know you're listening don't steal my idea yeah but he's probably give jordan some kickback probably it's coming yeah um i like the way the cape is kind of like coming around this batman yeah but again i'm not gonna need another statue the flash one i think is super cool yeah um it looks enough like a classic flash he's got like lenses in the eyes which i think is a little odd but then it also kind of looks like whatever that actor's name is i don't know ezra miller yeah which i don't really want a flash statue of ezra miller i'd rather have a classic barry bart wally west something like that yeah so not one that i need but i like all the power effects that comes with it it's kind of fun and then i don't even know the statue i don't think there was a lot of details given on this but we've got an 89 batmobile Mm-hmm. So, tempted by that one, Jordan? Again, though, it, it's, it, I mean, I like it, but am I going to, I guess it would depend on how much it is. I would assume like, 50. What? That's really not bad at all, if yeah. that's what it is. Because isn't that what the, like, Batman I monster thought that truck? Was the, yeah, I just feel like he would know more people want this than the monster truck, but. But. Todd doesn't really seem like the kind of guy that's going to squeeze you just because you want it. <clears throat> yes, that's true. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, <laughs> I've been conditioned by Marvel Legends. Exactly. For a while. No, I think that's true. So, I mean, I don't know. But, I think yeah. this is, I would expect this to be like maybe 55 because I know he is mm-hmm. up in his prices just a little bit. Um, but then, I, like I said, I don't, there wasn't like an in hand like Here, here's this thing let me show yeah. you all the components kind of i don't know if the top tease, opens up sort of like you fit a batman it. in yeah. there it seems we like the wheels talking roll. about that too oh jordan what what if <clears throat> what if you can put your batman in this your seven inch scale batman can go in here which i the cape is probably not going to work so i don't think it will happen that way but like say you put your whatever you cut the cape off batman and it fits in there top opens up it rolls. It's got rubber wheels. Fifty-five dollars. I mean, I don't really need it to. But what I'm saying roll. here, yeah. This, which I expect to be fifty-five dollars. Not sure if we're gonna be able to put a figure in it, but I think we could in the um, monster truck, maybe. Yeah. Why did the Haslab cost so much for a Ghost Rider <laughs> car? That Todd can make for fifty five, and you guys made for three fifty. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's this, what it's gonna be. <laughs> those but numbers I, don't add up. <laughs> those numbers don't add up. I've been working on those calculations. <laughs> I might be stupid. But... <laughs> <laughs> I might be stupid, but <laughs> that don't make no sense. No. So yeah. I I really hope now that this Batmobile fits a figure, a seven inch scale figure, which is bigger than a Marvel Legend. And you can drive it around in there. Wow. It's not going to light up and stuff, but 
you're going to tell me that the light up features are going to cost. If, if that's the case, why wouldn't he have done the um, Pattinson Batmobile? True. Maybe it's coming. I mean, th- this movie was in development for way long time, right? Like, wasn't this yeah, supposed to come true. out like 10 years ago? I mean, not 10 years ago, but you know. Oh, no. Forever. <laughs> I mean, it was supposed to... I don't think that much. I mean, they started working on it and then COVID happened. So maybe like a, a year or two. Okay. So. so I could see him doing yeah. a Pattinson Batmobile if this one does Definitely well. Definitely maybe for the next one. Yeah. That'll be a couple of years. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just too much because I like the shelf space. If that is the same size as the HasLab, but like it's not going mean, to need the bikes that. were pretty reasonable. Weren't those like 30? Yeah, I think those, so. The maybe 40 at most, but I don't. Yeah. I mean, they definitely went on sale too, so you mm-hmm. could get them real cheap. But I remember even when they were, th- I think it was full price at, I thought at 30. Maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Could be. But even then, like, that was a pretty good value for a vehicle. <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, we're getting a uh, Hawkeye with a Sky Cycle now for, what did I say the price was that going to be? 55? 50. Either 50 or 60. Yeah, I can't remember. Or fi- I thought it was 50 or 55, but. Yeah, yeah, so, and I don't think that sky cycle is going to be too substantial. No, but maybe that's just me. Well, it's supposed to fit two figures, but even when they were showing that, I don't think I'd see Hawkeye and Captain America riding nuts to butt on that very well. <laughs> <laughs> Cap, hop up! <laughs> Dang it! It's not a room with that. the Quinjet. No, no, sorry, we're full. <laughs> There's really not a lot of room back here. Can you scooch up? <laughs> no, sorry. You gotta get real close. <laughs> oh, Marvel, if you're listening, Jordan's got some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <too> bad. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. That's that's just <laughs> I've never heard that phrase. No? Never heard that? But to... oh, <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> we're like Hawkeye's mad because he doesn't want anyone to ride with him and Cap always insists he's like don't worry Clint somebody's gotta keep you company <laughs> he's like dang it man there's room in the Quinjet <laughs> yeah, we can cut some of this out if we need to oh no definitely not that is all of the reveals from well, I mean, not all the reveals. They did. He had some anime stuff, some movie maniac stuff, things like that. But we're mainly focused on DC superheroes here, so they weren't um, really movie maniac. I mean, kind of. But well, that's what he was called. People thought they were going to be. I know people thought they were going to be like his horror figures, you oh. know, like he did. Yeah, just remember he did Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, Harry Potter, Ted Lasso, <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West, and was that it? Maybe I'm missing I one, but might have been it. they're just like statues, like kind of smaller statues too, I think. So, you know, if you're interested in those, you can probably go check them out on his Instagram or Facebook. But what do you guys think? Are you guys going to get any of these on pre-order? Are you going to wait for some in-hand reviews? I think that's what I'm going to do, but then probably going to be pre-ordering Steel and <laughs> I'm looking sorry. for... I'm still thinking about butts to know. Sid Cap and did I put a image in your head that will no longer leave it like I did, Jordan? Have you heard the term nuts to butts before? Have you ridden nuts to butts? <laughs> would you ride nuts to butts with Hawkeye? <laughs> I would on a sky cycle, sure. Um, all right, let's get out of oh, here. Boy. Like, share, subscribe, <laughs> comment. We got giveaways coming. Till next time, stay strong. Ha, 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 ha.